think I'll be a clown when I get grown, said Dill. Jim and I stopped at our tracks. Yes, sir, a clown, he said. There ain't one thing in this world I can do about folks except laugh, so I'm gonna join the circus and laugh my head off. You, you got it backwards, Dill, said Jim. Clowns are sad. It's the folks that laugh at them. Well, I'm gonna be a new kind of clown. I'm gonna stand in the middle of the ring and laugh at the folks. Just look at yonder, he pointed. Every one of them ought to be riding broomsticks. <laughs> Aunt Rachel already does. Miss Stephanie and Miss Rachel were waving wildly at us in a way that did not give the lie to Dill's observation. Oh gosh, breathed Jim. I reckon it'd be ugly not to see him. Something was wrong. Mr. Avery was red in the face from a sneezing spell and nearly blew us off the sidewalk when we came up. Miss Stephanie was trembling with excitement and Miss Rachel caught Dill's shoulder. Get on in backyard and stay there, she said. There's danger coming. What's the matter, I asked. Ain't you heard yet? It's all over town. At that moment, Aunt Alexandria came to the door and called us, but she was too late. It was Miss Stephanie's pleasure to tell us, this morning, Mr. Bob Wool stopped Atticus on the post office corner, spat in his face, and told him he'd get him back. 